Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In New Reincarnation, let's have a look at my clear of the Challenge Quest 2 for the pre-anniversary promotion. And this is the content I was waiting for. This is, um, well, I'll talk about it at the end of the video how much I like this content, but spoiler alert, it's very much. <laughs> but here's my team. I'm probably the only one in the world that used this team to clear. I played through a little bit and I realized that a tank build uh, was going to be much more difficult. Uh, so this time I went for a, a chaining build, uh, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone. That's not how I usually like to play. I like to play the tank way, uh, but I got the uh, chain to work here. Uh, however, I don't have any top tier attackers uh, like Summer063Y or uh, Dragoon Noel. If I had them, maybe I could have just used them by themselves, but I needed to, uh, you know, combine the damage of Summer Akiha and then fractured 063Y to uh, get where I wanted to go. Okay, let's look at Akiha first. Um, I kind of experimented with like 100% critical builds, but I found that the, uh, the cooldown build uh, was going to work better. If my account or my characters were strong enough that I could just burst down that mini boss of wave two with just weapon skills from the start, uh, then that would have been fine. Uh, but my characters weren't strong enough, uh, even with the 100% critical. Uh, so I went for the cooldown instead, just to get faster uh, weapon skills out. Uh, but we have uh, Dark Memory Noel's Spear there. That's max, so it'll be uh, 5 hits plus 5 hits. And then she has the, uh, the new uh, Water Bear for the healing. Next is a Fractured 063Y. Uh, he also has a max Dark Memory Water uh, weapon. This is a uh, Yuri's Gun, also 5 hits plus 5 hits. Him too, he also has the uh, cooldown memoir set. And then he has another healing uh, companion. And then finally, we have Bloody F66X. She is so good. Everybody should level her up. Uh, she also has a water weapon. This is the uh, Blackhorn Spear. It'll be much faster than the, uh, the Dark Memory weapons as far as charging, which will work in the uh, very beginning, as we shall see. And then she has uh, memoirs to raise. I think it's the attack uh, for the party. And then her companion is the one to reduce uh, the fire damage. So actually, I don't have any companions to raise the water damage. Uh, again, what I did is I did many runs and I experimented with like how much damage I was doing. If I could uh, take down the mini boss uh, by a certain amount of time and I didn't have to use the companion to raise the water damage, that would have been good enough. And then I could fit another heal into there. Okay, first wave, just little guys. We are actually going to do nothing. So auto is off. I'm gonna do one thing. That attack up weapon skill on F66X, whenever that charges up, I will use it. Uh, otherwise, I want this to take as much time as possible. because so I wanna fill that uh, companion. And hopefully I don't take too much damage on one guy. All right, so we'll have the uh, companion filled for the uh, entry to the mini boss. Okay, we're going to target the middle guy. Uh, let's use one of the healing companions. This will fill my character skills as well. All right, and then we'll use all the weapon skills, make a little chain. That will also fill my uh, character skill gauges. And in the end, take down about half the uh, mini boss's HP. So yeah, instead of going all out here and then just taking down the mini boss here, I'm doing it in halves. And so there's going to be a lot more damage coming at me than like a, a much stronger team. So I have to uh, kind of build for that. And then the two healing companions is part of that. Okay, so weapon skills are filled. I'm going to wait till everybody's uh, weapon skills are filled and then get those out, hopefully before the boss acts again. So really, it was just kind of one wave of uh, boss attacks coming at us. So we were able to prevent a good amount of damage, actually. Great, take him down. <laughs> okay, HP is looking a little low, so let's use another companion. And hopefully I can get up F66X's character skill so that we can cure the poison. And then when F66X, when her HP is low enough, I don't want to use the uh, provoke uh, weapon skill. 
That's one kind of demerit of using that on her. Okay, so we'll enter wave three. And let's use that uh, regen plus the status cure right away. I'll get rid of the poison, restore 50% HP eventually. And again here, we're going to work towards uh, using the weapon skills to fill the character skills and then do one final chain on the boss. And hopefully we can live until then. I'll use this other companion, although there's not really any point to it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can charge these skills and then get them all out before the boss's skills fill up. This one's pretty fast, but we got it in there, all right. HP's looking low. All right, well, we're starting the chain. Let's see if we can take down the boss. Awesome, all right. <laughs> and everybody's still living. That's pretty cool. All right, so I loved doing that. Uh, I loved being able to figure it out for myself. No advice, thank you very much. And like, this reminds me of some of the favorite content from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. It was limited time, you know, very high difficulty stuff. Like uh, for Christmas, you know, there was like a limited time like snowman boss that had a just a totally unique uh, attack pattern and all that. And you had to, you know, put a team together and figure it out. When there was the uh, like the Final Fantasy IV collaboration, the limited time boss there was Kain. He would jump at you and you had to figure out how to survive his jumps and, you know, damage him when he's on the ground and this kind of thing. And kind of similar to the uh, stray scarecrows, there are these little, uh, you know, bite-sized, high-difficulty challenges. They really get your mind going, they get your uh, creativity flowing. As we've seen, there's many ways to beat these challenge quests. And I love it. I love it so much. I miss it from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. There's nothing similar in War of the Visions, which is part of the reason why I haven't played that game in half a year. But yeah, if they could continue to include these uh, challenge quests, maybe every couple months or something, I would be super happy about that. Okay, so that was my clear. My build for uh, the challenge quest one, that uh, tanky attack break uh, poison clear, that's something that I could recommend to other people. This build, I don't know if I could recommend it to people because it's very specific to my account. If you have stronger attackers, then I definitely recommend using them instead. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.